Hi guys, it's Mike. I'm at Next in Car Guys. I got my buddy Miles out here. A little short stack mini me, buddy. <laughs> Today, or tonight rather, as you see, we got some lights going. I'll show you guys a little short video. Um, we're doing battery cables. So, I'm gonna guys show you just, you know, how to how to get them set up. Shop truck here. Um, uh, it's set up for dual batteries already. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and add an extra uh, power battery. Um, we actually run quite a bit of lights off this thing. Uh, power inverter. Uh, all our emergency lighting runs off the truck. Um, so yeah, we're gonna try to get some new battery cables going. Um, we've got a new deep cycle marine battery. We're gonna run that for now uh, until we can pick up a more power. More power. <laughs> So we can pick up a AGM or a, a dry cell battery. So that's what we're looking for. Um, but anyway, we'll get you guys in closer and show you the best way to, or what we found is the best way to do this. All right, guys. So what we have here is some rosin core solder. Um, this is uh, one and sixteenths. That's like a quarter pound of solder. Um, you can get the thicker stuff. I recommend getting the thicker stuff. Anyhow, it's about as close as I can get you in here uh, without or with, without trying to hold the camera. So that's about as far as I can get you on the tripod. So hopefully you guys can see what's going on. So anyhow, um, I've already done one side of the cable. I've already, you know, test fitted my link so I know how much I need. Um, went ahead and picked up some shrink tubing. But shrink tubing has gotten rather expensive over the years. I didn't realize. Um, picked this up at our local O'Reilly's. This is the Dorman. Um, heat shrink tube it's a variety pack so it's got several different uh, sizes for different size wires um, yeah so anyhow enough of that so anyway I uh, went ahead and you know put my shrink tubing on uh, cut my wire back um, let's see here is the, the copper this is the copper ones yes uh, these are copper uh, ring lugs of course this package is bent but I'll show you one up close you can kind of see that so I got it on a pair of vice grips so it can keep the heat away. And basically is what I did is you want, that's about how far you want the wire to go down in there. So that's for reference. So anyway, my buddy, or my, my buddy Miles here is going to hold the vice grips. And what we're going to do is we're going to apply some heat with some map gas and basically get the lug warm. Then we're going to fill it with the solder. And what that's going to do is, once we get it full, we're going to stick the wire down in here, let it cool, and that should give us the other end of our wire, slide the heat shrink over, and we're good to go. So, stay tuned, right? <laughs> All right, buddy. You want to hold that? Sure. And, uh... You can turn it on. There we go. We got good heat. Keep our hands <laughs> far away from it. <laughs> Stay right. safe. Stay safe. Don't get burned. Uh oh. I love that. Really? <laughs> Keep on pressing it. There we go. All right, flame on. All right, so we don't want it to be extremely. More power. Get everything out of the way that can melt and burn here. All right. So he's gonna keep his little fingers back. And here we go. We can start warming it up. And it's not gonna take much. Basically, you start dipping your solder in, and you'll see it start to yeah. melt. How much do you put in there? Well, you want to, you, and you, and you want to try to fill it up um, almost to the top of the lug. That way, your wire gets fully coated. Here we're almost full. Fire. We're gonna make sure your shrink tubing is back far enough away. And then we're just gonna dip it down in the solder. Now we're just gonna let it cool. And blow it off. Let it cool down. 
Sometimes this helps. He's blowing it off. Yeah. Yeah. And it's already got it pretty tight. All right, let's see it real quick. Okay. There it goes. <clears throat> and that's basically what you get. Nice, even flush fit. And then when you're done, we'll take and just slide your heat shrink up. Wait till this cools off before you do that. It's still pretty hot. Now guys, what we're using here today is 4 gauge wire, if I didn't mention that before. You kind of see the markings here. This is typically what you want to use uh, when you're working with batteries. Um, now, you can go out and buy pre-lengthened, it's already like a, it's already got the eyelets on it. It's, you can get it in various lengths, I think it's auto parts store. But the issue is, is you're looking at anywhere between um, 8, 15, 20 bucks depending on uh, the length of wire you're getting so with that being said you can build these a lot cheaper custom length the way you want it for way less I think uh, the most expensive thing here um, besides the wire was the box of shrink tubing and that stuff is 15 bucks probably get it on Amazon much cheaper but it was uh, something I needed fairly quickly, so I couldn't wait to, uh, you know. All right, guys. So it's finally cooled down some. Still a little warm to the touch. But there's what you get. Nice flush all the way around. You don't have any bare wire showing. And now we can take our heat heat tubing here, our heat shrink. And basically, what I like to do is right here where it, the bend starts. I slide it up just just past that, and then you supply heat. So, let me get out of the camera here so you can kind of see what's going to happen. All right, you see that that tubing shrinking over. And you just kind of, you know, don't do it all at once. Just work your way down nice and slowly. And I go back up. And that's it. So now, you have a really nice, really clean, professional looking battery cable. So that's pretty much it for this video. Probably gonna end it off here. It's just a little quick how-to. We's out here playing around tonight, um, enjoying the cooler weather. If you guys would, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, you can check out some of our other videos. We got a few other how-to uh, how videos. And uh, yeah, so I guess that's gonna be it. Once again, thank you guys for watching. See you next time.